We are Leo going to bed. TV. Leo is watching TV. Tomorrow I have a lot I need to do, so this vlog is starting at night. Um, and Leo is sleeping over tonight. <gasps> and I don't really, I don't have a dog because I don't want the responsibility. But Mike really wanted to have a sleepover with crazy Leo pants. So, yep, we are going to bed soon. And I have a lot I need to do tomorrow. So it's going to be an early morning. You gonna come to bed, you? Okay, so it's the Friday before I leave for Greece. I'm leaving on Sunday, so I'm running a lot of errands today. It is around 10, I got ready. I'm going to get my nails done and a pedicure at 11. And then I have to run to the mall, I have to pick up sunglasses. I'll explain more in the car, but I'm hungry now, and so now it's time to make Bulletproof coffee. So like I said, it's fucking hot. I've been running around. Um, I got up, got ready. I'm dealing with something that, ugh, it's so stressful. Hopefully it all works out. I'm on my way to go get my nails done. My appointment's at 11. And then I need to, okay, well, Tony got me these for my birthday and I used to have them and I loved them. But now I'm looking at them and I'm like, are they too big? Like, I don't know what to think about them. I have to go to the mall because I honestly have like no clothes and I'm leaving for vacation on Sunday. And the reason why I haven't really been shopping a lot, well, you guys know I'm on this like health, wellness, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I am trying to lose weight because I have weight to lose. Um, people are like, oh, I'm gonna do a whole video about this, I think. Maybe I'll film it today. But people are like, oh my God, you're so obsessed with being skinny. And I'm like, no, like I honestly, like it really just, okay, I'm gonna save this for the video, but it just really annoys me because um, in the past I have ha suffered with eating disorders. I do suffer with body dysmorphia. And I am like, weight is something that's on my mind, but I'm not obsessed with being skinny. Like I just wasn't feeling good all of last year. Anyways, I didn't really go shopping a lot last year because I wasn't happy with the way I looked and I wasn't happy with the way I felt and things. Sorry, I just need a sip of my bulletproof. I wasn't happy with the way I looked last year. I was really self-conscious. I was really insecure. I talked about this in my eating disorder, body dysmorphia video. I like didn't want to go out and do things. Like I just felt so self-conscious that I became sort of like a shut-in. And honestly, like I'm sure you guys know this, but when you don't feel your best like inside, if you don't feel like you look your best outside, it's really hard to want to go out and get like, it's really hard for me at least to go out and you know, want to try on clothes. It's like, not fun like I just felt like shit and I felt like I looked awful so I am um on this whole health wellness journey you guys know this not it's not just about losing weight it's just about feeling better on the inside I think like the people who just want to like pick apart everything I say like they think it's just about losing weight but I think most people get it because everyone like I know that most of my viewers aren't morons so I have faith in you guys so I didn't really even buy a lot of clothes this winter I wore a lot of like my Lulu's and then even this summer like I went shopping like a few times but I did haven't gone shopping recently but I know I need to pick up some clothes so I'm probably I'm gonna go to the mall after um, my nails because Tony got me these sunglasses for my birthday but there's like a little part of it uh, I don't know if you guys can even see it the girl at the sunglass hat was super sweet and she's like they're defective so I'm gonna order you a new pair but you can just take the defective pair so you don't have to wait but like I don't know if I love these I used to I used to love these sunglasses but now I, I just don't know I just did a really illegal u-turn I mean, it wasn't real. I, I did, I've done it before. I think they just put up a sign. And I really don't like getting my nails done. It just, I feel like it takes so long and I just feel like I'm wasting time. And I brought some earphones and I'm gonna listen to some podcasts. So I just got out of the nail salon. My pedicure looks good. I ruined like two nails, so I'm just not good at that stuff. But yes, I'm super happy with how Mary did it. And um, for those of you who are asking how I got my nails to look like this, I just asked for short acrylic nails. I know people don't like car vlogs. That's just like, you know what? You can't win. Um, oh, something I wanted to talk about is my food videos. So yesterday I uploaded a video um, of what I eat in a day video. Now I know that some people like those videos and some people don't, but to the people who don't like them and feel the need to comment on every single one of them, how many of these are you gonna make? I have this to say. Those videos are clearly titled. It's not like I'm saying, um, what's in my makeup bag and then you open it and it's a food video if you don't like those types of videos or if you have an issue with them don't click it it's not that hard fuck 
Next thing I want to say is that whenever I do upload a what I eat in a day video, I only upload them on days where I'm sharing a new recipe or two because I agree if I was doing every single day Bulletproof coffee, Ezekiel egg thing, and then you know my chicken flatbreads for dinner, I would agree with you and be like, why are you uploading this video a million times if you're constantly eating the same things? I only upload what I eat in a day videos when they are new recipes or new things that I haven't shown in a video before. I personally love watching those videos. Every video I put up is because I think it's something that I personally would enjoy watching. At the end of the day, I can't please everyone. Some people like my vlogs, some people don't like my vlogs, some people like car vlogs, some people don't like car vlogs, some people like makeup videos, some people want more vlogs. Like, you just can't please everyone, and I'm not trying to please everyone, but I just want people to actually use their brains and like logic for a second and just think before they just comment stupid stuff. I honestly have a very low tolerance for stupidity and I feel like those comments are stupid. I'm sorry, I honestly just do. I know that a lot of you guys like those videos and like I said, they're some of my favorite videos to watch and like I also said, I do those videos when I have a new recipe to share. I eat a lot of the same things. Those videos are also some of like recipe ideas and it's not just like repetitive. I mean, the only thing that is repetitive is my Bulletproof coffee, but that's just because that's something I drink every single day and I'm not gonna change it for a video. Yeah, I just wanted to address that. I was on my way home and I realized I didn't have any kombucha. So I'm stopping at one of my favorite health food stores to get some, just getting kombucha because I don't need any more groceries. <laughs> looks like I'm going to the back. Okay, looks like I'm shut out of luck. All they have is rice. I'm gonna get this um, Amy's pizza and I'm gonna get this water. Okay, so I just got in from go organic and I shouldn't even show you guys this I'm kidding but like it seems like a lot of the stuff that I talk about in my videos is sold out and I don't mind though like there's so many places that it's not an issue but they had no GT's kombucha but something I just want to say is I got a comment on my last video about how one of my viewers was in Plattsburgh where I got my halo top the first time and she heard girls asking like, where's the alley ice cream? And then apparently a Walmart employee was like, we moved it to an end cap because all the, everyone's coming from Montreal because of this YouTube girl and that was me. I just find that so funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool that Walmart moved their product because of me, allegedly. I mean, I don't know if it's, I don't know like if it's true, but that's what someone commented, but that's pretty funny. Um, when Tony and I went to Messina, we, we're going through the border and we literally were going there for halo top and so the guy was like oh what's the purpose of your trip and we're like we're gonna go get halo top ice cream and he's like you're going all the way there for ice cream and we're like yes and he thought that was so weird they ended up searching our car on the way back but we only had ice cream we declared everything so it was kind of it was scary but i don't know i just don't like going through borders that much but not in like i don't mind going through like airplane or airport borders it's more just going through the border at the u.s anyways Go Organic has a really good sale section and I got these. Okay, you guys know I have my Bulletproof coffee for breakfast, but you know some days like when or some nights when you just want something sweet and so they had these waffles by Nature's Path. They're organic and they were on sale for 99 cents. If you live in Canada, you know that our food prices are so crazy. I watch like food hauls in the US and you can get such good deals. You can get food like basically for free or they even like pay you if you have like coupons and stuff. Okay, so I just got home and I'm doing laundry. This is all clean stuff, so I'm gonna fold it and then this room is kinda gonna be the packing headquarters. And I'm really gonna try and pack only things that I've worn recently because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go on trips, I'm like, oh, I haven't worn this shirt ever, but I think I might wear it. Like, no, I'm gonna wear the same stuff that I've always liked to wear. So I'm just gonna go through this fold and then I also have a ton of other clothes that are already folded, so I'm gonna bring them into here and make them into piles. So today is Friday and I like to treat myself a little on Friday. I'm gonna do a whole video, hopefully I'll have time to film it before I leave, but I'm gonna do a whole video about how I handle cheat days, which you'll hear more about my theory on it because I don't really consider it a cheat day. Anyways, I'm just having this cheese Amy's pizza. Um, it's in the oven with some watermelon. I love watermelon. 
how good does that look i've been getting some questions about my plates and bowls and stuff um this is actually from walmart it's their pioneer woman line i love these plates i get so many questions about them pretty easy to pack when you don't really have that many clothes this is just my preliminary packing because I am going to the mall now with my mom. Um, she's like insisting we go to the mall. So I'm gonna go to Forever 21 and hopefully find some like more nighttime clothes or just dresses. I don't have a ton. Um, some bathing suits maybe. And then I have my shoes. I've, I mean, I'm wearing, oh my God, my feet look so swollen. I have my feet, honestly, I look like I'm pregnant. I'm not pregnant. This will only support people asking me if I'm pregnant. <laughs> I have flat feet and they just look really bloated right now, so don't have pretty feet. I'm bringing my silver shoes, my Adidas slides, um, my Carl Lagerfeld slides, my Evil Eye shoes, and my Chanel Espadrilles. And I have, I think I'm good on like, I'm definitely good on tees, I just need some more fancy stuff. So my mom is picking me up and we're gonna go. I'm at Sunglass Hut. And I decided to exchange the sizes. Luckily, they have size 58. So I'm going with 58 instead of 62. So it's Friday night and I just got home and I changed into this little sweat outfit that my sister has, my mom has. It's from Aerie. It's like the softest material ever. My room's kind of a mess, but um, yeah, it's just... Oh, those are pockets? There's pockets on like the outside, but this is so comfy. I'm contemplating wearing this on the plane, not sure. But um, I'm doing a face mask. I'm doing the Tata Harper clarifying face mask. It's super expensive. I don't know if I feel like it's worth it yet, but I'll let you guys know this is the second time I'm doing it. And I did get some shopping done with my mom today, so I'm gonna show you what I got. Okay, so there's not really good lighting in this room. I got this, okay, <laughs> if you know me, I have this white shirt from Forever 21 that's like my favorite shirt. I wear it all the time, I love it. I also got this dress from Topshop. Um, but it's really ugly. No wonder it was on sale so much. So I have to go return it. And then I got, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, but there's this like blue rib dress, a white tank top dress, but I was super excited about this dress. I just thought it was so pretty. I'm obviously not going to do a good job of showing it to you. Maybe I can find it online, but it's like, it just looks so nice. Like it has like this detailing on the side and just, I don't know. I just thought it was so pretty. And it actually looks really cute on. So I got that. Um, I need to go get some shorts. I need some more bathing suits. But that's what I have so far. So this is the face mask. It's supposed to be for blemish prone skin. I actually decided to buy it because this girl I follow on Instagram. Her name is Kelly. She's from my area. She always uses it. And it's really expensive. It's like over $100. But my friend Eliz got me a gift card for my birthday for Sephora. So I was like, I can put it towards that. And it's not as bad. So... We're going to the movies later, but right now I'm just masking. Day before we leave, and I just woke up, it's around 8, and now I have so much I need to do today. I need to go do some returns at the mall because a dress I bought looked so bad. It was so cute on, but it was so cute off, but on it was like a nightmare. And I need to buy some shorts, maybe some bathing suits. I didn't get to go to American Eagle yesterday. Um, and I also want to film some videos. I have some videos I need to post. So it's going to be very busy. I'm going to have a big tall glass of lemon water though because I'm really going to try and drink a lot of water today and tomorrow before I leave because it's like an afternoon flight. I don't know about you, but I hate cleaning my brushes. And Tony was sent this, well, she sent a lot of Sephora stuff. But they sent her this brush pad that you can slip onto your hand. I selected the brushes I want to bring with me, but I don't want to wash them before I do my makeup today. And I just did one of these since I'm not going to use this foundation brush. And it was actually so easy to wash the brush. And I feel like so much foundation got out of it. So you could probably buy like one of those silicone um, hand things at like Walmart. But I mean, I, I always thought it was a gimmick, but I think it actually really works. I'm just going, yeah, these are the brushes I'm taking and I need to clean. And then this is all the makeup I'm bringing. And I'm bringing my Sea Firma and a beauty blender. I should wash that beauty blender too. But I'm not going to wash the brushes before I do my makeup today. But as you can see, they are pretty dirty. I hate cleaning my brushes. Okay, so it is now around 11. I just got back from the office. I was working on some orders. Now I need to come back and film a little bit. So I'm going to make my Bulletproof coffee and then edit uh, and finish. I have some videos that are pretty much edited that I just need to finish up. And I'm going to make my, I'm going to make my Bulletproof. And... I think I'm gonna do, I've been doing like two scoops of the collagen. Um, if I'm really like, if it's a little later in the day because it'll hold me over a little longer. So just doing two scoops and I need to pack, I put my, okay, I need to pack everything for this too. 
I've been getting some questions about my clear mugs because I show them in vlogs a lot. These two, I don't know what that is. These two are from Chapters or Indigo. And then the original clear mugs I had, these ones, I got them at the Bay. They're called ugh, like double wall, like clear double wall mugs. I got these at the Bay. They're by the brand Trudeau. They were like $40 for two. I know Bodum, you can get them at Crate and Barrel. Okay, so I finished filming a video. I finished editing how many? I did my eyebrow video. I did my cheat day video. I did a video about my sunglasses collection, editing, editing a vlog, and I have my carry on. So I have five videos ready to go. You guys are gonna see this vlog first. So that's a preview of what's to come. Um, I made this necklace today. Before anyone starts anything, I ordered these in probably May. I could give you the exact receipt if, if it's needed. Anyways, um, I have to go to the mall now. I have to go to the post office to pick up something. And I'm kind of feeling a little nauseous, so I'm probably gonna have a granola bar. But I'm running over to the office now, and then I need to run over to the mall. Before I leave, I really want to clean the apartment. I mean, it's pretty, there's just like oh, clothes everywhere right now. But, um, oh my god, I got this shirt yesterday at Forever 21, and I was so happy because this shirt, um, <laughs> Tony and Mike laugh at me because this is my favorite shirt. Normally, I don't like v-necks, but for some reason, I, I really like this one. It was on sale for $7.99 at Forever 21. And that's where I got my original one, but I didn't get it when it was on sale. And I got this one on sale for $7.99. So, super happy. Okay, I'm with my mom now. Again, she is getting a drink at the gas station. And then I'm going to the health food store to get a kombucha. Because I seriously need a kombucha. Oh my god, I just realized it's 4. And I didn't even eat today. All I had today was my Bulletproof coffee. I didn't even think... I didn't. I knew, like... I didn't realize it was four. Um, well, it's 3.44. So we really need to get going. I'm gonna tell her, forget the kombucha. We're gonna go after, We're just gonna head straight to the mall. I need to return this ugly dress that I bought at the Bay, hit American Eagle up, maybe Sephora. I don't really need anything really. And I'm gonna get like a, like a wrap or something at the mall, cause I'm just super, super hungry. I came to the mall with my mom and Mike met us here. And I got some cute shorts at um, American Eagle that fit really good. But Mike is the real winner. He wanted to show his shoes. He's been wanting Ultra Boost for so long. Do you want to show which ones you got? No? I'll do an unboxing video. <laughs> I got two pairs of shorts, a top, and a tank top. So I'm probably going to go to Forever 21 in the morning. I needed some XCT oil. And the, the girl helping was like, Oh, Bulletproof's really popular now. Everyone's asking for it. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if it's because I said, oh, Bulletproof, they sell it at um, Health Tree. It's this one over there for my Canadian, for my Montrealers. So they didn't have any small bottles. Um, and so I wasn't expecting to spend $50 on this, but I needed it. So yeah, I got this. They also had the Brain Octane Oil, which I'm going to be honest, I don't really understand the difference between um, the XCT and the Brain Octane because they're both MCTs. But uh, the Brain Octane Oil was over $60, so I was like, mm, I'll just stick with the XCT Oil. And then I got two kombuchas because I really, really need one. Just got home from the mall and running errands with my mom, and I am pooped. So I'm going to take a little quick break, edit some of my vlog. I just ate a little bit of a muffin. I am drinking my kombucha. I'm drinking Guava Goddess Kombucha, so I am just going to relax for a little bit and then finish up packing. I still have stuff to do. I still need to go shopping tomorrow morning. I'm so last minute, but that's why I roll, I guess. I'm always last minute when it comes to packing. I always think I have more time, but I'm not that behind. I just need to go get some last minute clothes. Okay, morning we're leaving. I need to wrap up the vlog so I can finish editing it and then get it uploaded. Um, I have everything pretty much packed. I still do need to run to like some stores just to do some quick shopping, but I'm kind of like ahead of it. I just need to shower and I'm not even really getting ready so I have my carry-on packed and I have a whole video all about what's in my carry-on and I have my iPad here but I need to download the books on my Kindle I already downloaded the shows on Netflix need to put this in my toiletry and then so far these are the two pieces of jewelry that I'm bringing um, I have to go to the office and make a few things I just have I don't know if I'll have time so I'm bringing the evil eye lariat and then this one I made for myself yesterday um, so I'm bringing that and I'm also, I think I've narrowed it down in terms of sunglasses, my classic Ray-Bans, with specs, new Ray-Bans, I forget the brand, and then I'm deciding if I'm going to bring these, I'm not sure yet, because I already have a lot of Ray-Bans, a lot of aviators, 